explore the external anatomy of the tilapia. Let's go! So here is the anterior part, the posterior part, the dorsal part, and the ventral part. Before that, let's measure that fish. The measurement of this fish is 9.5 inches long. So first is the nair or the nostril. The nair or the nostril is the olfactory senses of the fish and it is used to detect odors in water. Eyes, it enables to recognize mating partners, social hierarchy, and enemies. The dorsal spines increase the lateral surface of the body during swimming and it provides stability. The dorsal fin is the hard structure that supports the fin and it is used for defense. The lateral lines is the lines along the body of the fish and it is used to help the fish adapt itself to its new environment. The dorsal rays is the cartilage that supports the fins of the fish. Here is the caudal peduncle. It is the part of the fish that connects the body and the tail. This is the caudal fin or the tail, the propulsion mechanism that thrusts the fish forward and it is responsible for speed. This is the mouth. It is made up of tiny conical teeth positioned in rows or bands that are used to hold food in place. This is the upper kelp or the operculum, the part of the fish that protects the gills. The pelvic fin, it is used as a stabilizers and maneuvering mechanisms of the fish. The pectoral fin, it allows the fish to dive and also allows the fish to stay in one spot. This fish has its scales. The scales provide protection from the environment and from the predators. This is the anal spine. It is used to stabilize the fish while swimming. Here is the anal fin and the anal rays. It is used for preventing the fish from swaying from side to side while on the water. Next, let's move on to the musculator of the tilapia. Right here is the myomere and here is located the epaxial. Here is the horizontal septum. Right here is the myoseptum. And here is the hypaxial. And this one is the cloaca. Right here is the abductor or the extensor and the pectoral fin. And on the other side is the adductor or the flexor and the pectoral fin. The epaxial and hypaxial muscles are made up of myomeres that are divided by myosepta, which are sheets of connected tissue that are found between each myomere. So the epaxial and hypaxial muscles are divided with a different sheet of connected tissue called the horizontal septum. So these muscles allow the lateral movement for locomotion. Abductor muscles are muscles that can move an appendage away from the body while the adductor muscles move an appendage closer to the body. Now let's move on to the internal organs of the tilapia. This is the eye, and right here where you can see the brain. Here is the kidney, and this one is the swim bladder, and right here is the testis. This one is the stomach. This one is the liver. And right here is the spleen. And these are the intestines of the tilapia. Right here is the heart. And this one is the gills. Now let's move on to the fish skeleton. Upper jaw, lower jaw, orbit, Operculum, skull, vertebra, dorsal fin rays, neural spine, caudal fin rays, hyperal, hemal spine, anal fin rays, vertebra, pectoral fin rays, pectoral girdle, pelvic fin rays, and pelvic girdle. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Stay safe and God bless.